We wanted to take out some of the complexity. We added in BF2 and 2142. Go back to more like 1942, or even a little bit more simple than that. And just go back to the core of like monkeying around in vehicles, team playing and just using your abilities and basically having fun. There's no server browser now. You're a, a match made into a game automatically, depending on how what your skill level is. Respawn time is about five seconds now. And you automatically respawn at the nearest kind of friendly flag, so you don't have to pick where to go. Now, a lot of stuff's been done, but I think the, the most we've done is in the gameplay, is we moved like quick kind of insta-kill shots and use uh, the abilities to kind of modify the power of your weapon. The big thing about Battlefield Heroes is that it's free. So we're actually going to be selling weapons, but not for real money. For, and the currency that you earn by playing the game. So play around with the game, you get some currency that you can spend, and you can purchase new weapons. It's much like purchasing different cars in something like Ridge Racer, where there are just slightly different tweaks to those weapons, but you find the one that you prefer. So we've got an extensive character customization system in the game, and in that you can purchase really kind of cool items that make you look much better than everybody else. You don't have to, it's not going to make you better in the game, but it's going to make you stand out more. If that's what you want, then okay. Also, we're going to sell convenience items. These are things where, as we have a leveling system in the game, you could speed that process up by purchasing one of these items. But you don't have to, so it's, it's not going to unbalance the game. <laughs> Battlefield Heroes is going to launch with only two maps, which doesn't sound like very many, but with these are highly tested and really good fun right now. We're also working on new maps, which we'll be adding later on. The actual new content that we'll be adding is going to be based on kind of what the community wants to go and see. So we'll go ahead and build whatever it is they want. 99% of people probably won't buy the new map anyway. They're going to be sat there playing the game and then these people that bought it, they're not going to be able to play it. So that's just going to divide our community. You know, we have to give that stuff away free. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's, it's great. There's two armies, the Royal Army and the National Army. They're fighting because of a, a dispute over the cycling results in the Olympics which is a very serious fight. And then uh, you can then, once you've chosen your army, choose which character class you want to be, be that gunner, commando, or soldier. They're basically light, medium, and heavy. Um, the soldier is he's kind of got leadership abilities, but not particularly that much range. He's kind of good at just about everything. The gunner is very big and heavy, doesn't run so fast. He's made of like a, like a human tank, basically. Lots of firepower. And the commando is all about being invisible, sneaky, snipey. He's going to be, you're not going to see him basically until he's up behind you, kind of stabbing at you, and then you need to use some of your abilities to make him get away from you. We've got three vehicles per side, basically planes, jeeps, and tanks. We want to keep it simple for the moment, so people aren't trying to figure out how to operate radar stations that need 18 people. So uh, we've only got 16-player uh, maps as well, with, uh, with these three vehicles on each side. Some people have been saying they want to see bombers in the game. Again, we may go ahead and add bombers, but uh, it depends. If, uh, if that's what the majority of people want, then sure. Battlefield Heroes is out for the PC sometime in the summer. Ooh.